This is Coom Cassis for IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. It's the morning after. Uh, a quite epic night in Manchester. Don't want an after the night before. Yeah, one of those one of those ones, I think. Uh, sensational win for yourself. You must be buzzing and over the moon with uh, what you accomplished last night in Manchester. Yeah, I am. Um, yeah, it just makes it all work it all the lows, all the downs, all the, you know, blood, sweat and tears. You sometimes question why do you do it and why you put yourself through it and when you have nights like that then you realise why. I think of all the outcomes, what actually happened was probably everyone's least pick of, <laughs> of how it panned out in the end. Uh, I don't really think anyone saw that kind of method of win uh, last night. I think everyone knew it was going to be a tough fight for you, um, which still give the credit because it, this was a tough fight for you, but uh, you made it look so easy. Yeah, I mean, obviously she, she took her at late notice and um, she'd been off, she's been off for a little while and there's nothing like being boxing fit. Um, but, you know, she's gone the distance with your Brockhouses, your Cousins, your um, Canadians and, uh, yeah, I've, I've, I've respected that and my camp reflected that. I was, I was expecting a 10-round fight, a hard 10-round fight as well. I think her coming in lighter threw me a little bit but I also think it played into my hands because I was expecting and I trained to punch off a 12 stone a 12 stone girl you know a 154 plus a hydration so um, her coming in just as light as me was, was like played into my hands really because then you know yeah I've always been told that boxers don't kind of plan that it, if it happens it happens but what was kind of the plan from the off we literally, literally five minutes before we, the, the, the walk, the walk in, um, we, I was going over things with Cindy in the, in the changing rooms, and, and one of the things was a jab the head, back on the body, lead up. And if you watch, I, I try it like two or three times before I actually connect, and it, it just doesn't really connect. It or, or the hook misses just a little bit, and then. When it lands, like obviously it lands, and I don't. To be honest, I don't think she ever recovered from that one. Now, I did see a notice a certain Hannah Rankin uh, that was there at last night's fight as well. Is that a possibility moving forward? Yeah, I think she. I think she mentioned it on the commentary. I haven't heard it because I haven't seen watched it back. But I think that's what she's mentioned. I know Ben has mentioned it in the um, at the after press conference. So. Like, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm open to suggestions, you know, I've, I think I've got a bit of bargaining power and that's what I wanted, is, you know, opportunities and options and, and without a title, you haven't really got them because you, I'm a lot of risk for no reward, um, so now I've got something to bring to the table, I think there's a lot more people who are willing to accept the risk. After the kind of disappointment of the Harper fight, the Taylor fight, how much pressure were you under this week to kind of get it right for yourself? First of all, yeah, I mean, I didn't want to think about the the, the negatives because you have to go into a fight positive, believing you can win. And, and but I, I did think it, if I lose this, I, I definitely would retire. There was, there was nowhere else for me to go. Um, and obviously, you know, trying three times and not being successful, you know, not what kind what kind of the point. But obviously, I didn't I didn't let that affect me in the in the ring because I went in there with the attitude that I know I can win. I just have to be smart. I have to be clever. I have to have a fast start, which is probably what cost me in both fights. Um, so yeah, I, I went out, I went for it. You said uh, in the build-up that you were just desperate to take that belt home to your, your little girl, and you're going to be doing that today. Yeah, yeah. My cousin was sending me things last night of her jumping around my cousin's house because that's where she was staying. Um, and then my mum's phoned me this morning and she's phoned my mum and my mum's told her that it's a pink belt so she's made up that it's pink. That's her belt now? Yeah, it's her belt so I'll, I'll, I'll take her to her and, 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 you know, and she'll be giving me her tooth that's fell out as well. We'll swap. <laughs> um, well listen, congratulations. Like I said, it was, a, it was a great night in Manchester. Just a, a final one on, on Kelbrook. Yeah, God, I, I, I can't so I feel bad now. But... Um, I, I did say Kel has that punch power and I think there was a shot even in the first round when he's caught him near the end of the round and Khan's legs just, just wasn't with him. Um, 
and you could you could just sense from then Kel Kel was has grown confidence then that he knows he can hit him when he lands and it was just a case of when and when you're fighting a 12 round fight you, one thing in boxing's for sure you're gonna get hit and and Kel was just waiting for his moment and it came and he took it and what a performance and I think for Kel you know. I think he can be at peace now with his uh, with his boxing because he, you know he wanted that all along and it is a little bit sad that he didn't get that in, in its prime. But for him, I think he's you know he can be at peace with himself. I know I would be. Right, I'll let you crack on with the rest of your morning. Yeah. Uh, sorry, sorry to bother you. Nah, no, don't worry. It's not that early actually. I thought it was early. I know, but yeah, it's really worry. not that early. <laughs> uh, I've only had three hours sleep though. I'm sure a lot of people have only yeah, had three yeah. hours sleep. Uh, congratulations and listen whatever happens next happens and it's, yeah, yeah. you can kind of sit back and kind of see what's available and I got options you got options <laughs> uh, Tash thank you very much and uh, nice like one. I said congratulations oh cheers nice one